from 27 states and four nations. Here in New York City, to play Quidditch. It has been a tradition at the start of the World Cup that I explain the story of Quidditch. How it started in 2005 at Millbury College. With a bunch of kids who were wearing capes, we had garbage cans in the boots. But there's one story that I haven't told to anyone else before. We were sitting out on the lawn at the Millbury College, our freshman year after our first season of Quidditch. And a group of upper class were walking by. And one of them said loud enough for us to hear to his friends. I can't wait for those freaks to play Quidditch again so we can laugh at them. Now, I used to hate that guy, but now I love him. Because whenever someone tells him that this is not possible, that we can't play real life Quidditch, and that we're not going to have a successful tournament with over 100 teams playing real life Quidditch, I just remember that face. If you have ever experienced anyone judging you negatively for playing a game, a game that you love, a game that means something real to you, a game that gave meaning to your life, that gave you friends, that gave you a family, that gave you a team, I want you to put your fist or your brooms 